back to Rooksy's car restorations and uh, this week we are trying to get a bit more done on the old Beetle aka Beatty. Um, in the last bit of the video I uh, or in the last video should I say we're cutting out some rust and getting ready to finish repainting the inner garden the best of the back of the car under the car sorry and the second we can get all that sorted out, the second we can start sorting out the bits and pieces on the rest of the upper car. And, um, yeah, do the first stage of painting, which is the, which will be the red and then the white. So, um, yeah. We'll, um, we'll get into it. Yeah, start knocking out, we'll take off this wheel and start knocking out the, uh, well, welding up that rust patch and the other one that's down here as well, under here. Oh, where is it? There's, there's a bit of a hole there too. I don't know why you can see it. But, um, all that needs to be cleaned up and then we'll sand back the guard and um, I've sanded some of the guard back, but yeah, send back the guard and then repaint it and in a guard. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, this week maybe more like a vlog style. Um, I want to just work on the beetle this week, but um, it is what it is. I've got two cars up for sale and I'm constantly getting bombarded by messages and people wanting to look at the car and blah blah blah. Um, plus I'm looking for potentially new cars too because I want to get another car for the wife. Um, so we're doing car hunting as well. Um, I'm hoping to have a, a, a video out today, maybe but maybe the weekend or maybe I'll have a bigger one next week. We'll, we'll just have to see. If you're joining us and, um, and, you, and you haven't subscribed, um, Feel free to subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, I want to try and get to a thousand subscribers so we can um, get like a passive income sort of thing happening. Also, you know, helps with some of the builds. Um, also, if you're watching this video to see the, um, <laughs> the radiator swap on the Beetle, I'm sorry, but she air cooled, she air cooled. And, um, but we are doing work on the beetle. Um, I've just semi patched up that bit of rust there. I'll fix it up a bit better and then we'll smooth it out and paint over it. And I've just finished cutting out that bit there and underneath as well. And now, where you can see that, there's a massive, there it is, a massive hole there, which we've got to patch up and clean up and repaint. Almost the back half of the car is fully painted. But the first thing I need to do this morning is get the wife's car cleaned up because two people are coming very shortly for that. Um, so I've just got to give it a quick wash and vacuum. And um, I did a detailed video on that car and the previous video, the video before, I can't remember. Anyways, that no, was the last video. So I'm not going to show you that again. Um, it's just, It's just... Every so often you got to, because it's a daily driver too, we've just got to go through it and give it a quick vacuum, wash the dust off it before people come and have a look at it. Um, so yeah, I'll be back soon um, with some more work on the Beetle. Righto. Rightio, time to uh, cut out some metal to fix those two or three holes that I just showed you. Um, the Subi's just going out for a bit of a test drive, so hopefully they'll be... Um, I can't see why they don't want to buy it. It's a beautiful car. Um, hopefully they'll like that and be back with some dollar dollar bills. And um, yeah, anyways, I've got to cut some metal out and uh, fit it to the car and try and hold it on. So um, let's get out. A lot of this stuff I'm doing is quite repetitive and I would understand if you want to fast forward or whatever else. So pretty entirely up to you guys. Um, 
you know, some some weeks it's just all metal work or rust work or whatever, and the other weeks is, you know, detailing. It's really, you know, it's sort of like I said, like a blog sort of a thing. Um, but yeah, anyways. I'll put it back on when we start welding. Alrighty, we've got our three bits of metal to do the patchwork we need to do. Let's give these a quick clean up and uh, we'll zip them on the car. And now we've got three shiny bits of metal ready for welding. People are back to talk about the car, so I'll get back to it in a bit. Well, let's get the welding. Start with this little patch here. If we can get it. Rounds aren't the best. We'll see how we go. See if it'll work this time. Damn it, it's stuck to the magnet. Ready my time. I've got to put my damn glove on though, silly me. Right. Finish cleaning that up, packing that in, and then we'll get to the next one. Alright, got that first little bit tucked in. Oh my god, just because it's looking a bit crunchy. Time for a new disc. <laughs> Uh, one second, I'll change discs. Right, let's try and make this look a bit cleaner.
some of the world's most nastiest worlds, just so you know. <laughs> but we'll clean it up and go again. Crack this mix perfect. So we've welded that up, cleaned it up a bit, it's uh, still looking pretty rough but we'll uh, get it a bit smoother and fix it up and then we'll do the other two holes and get into it. Right, now we're going to turn back our welded areas and um, clean up the inner guard, get it ready for painting. Out of battery. Smooth on top part, smooth now. This part's smooth, just need a little, get a little bit more out of there.
anyways we'll come back and look at a bit more when it's cleaned up and painted all right guys so we're going to end out this video on a um on a bit of a car hunt so we uh successfully sold my wife's car flash your money <laughs> <laughs> And um, the three of us are going to go check out a car, so um, yeah, let's uh, get into it. Oh, all right. You got 12.6 in my back battery. So um, we went and had a look at a couple of cars a bit earlier and had no luck, so we're going to have a look at a third one now. It's um, now afternoon. Hopefully, uh, this one's a bit better luck for us. Um, it looks good on paper, but nothing always necessarily looks good in person, so we'll. Have to wait and see. Car full now. We're getting ready to go. Hopefully, we'll get a car now. Yeah. So it's next day. Um, beautiful sunny day, as you can see. Um, so um, we had a car hunt last night. Um, rather successful car hunt, I might add. Um, yeah, it got really dark, so it was a bit hard to do any videoing and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so uh, we got my wife a new set of wheels. And this is it. It's a Honda CRV. Now, my wife was downsizing. You know, her car's worth a bit of money. She wanted some cash. This car's really, really cheap. Um, but... Can, for the price, it's considerably reasonably good. We'll go, we'll go over it and we'll talk about what's the issues. So firstly, it's quite dusty and dirty. So she needs a really good detail, a bit of light restoration. Still got pretty good tyres. It's lived out on a property, so it's... The whole undercarriage is covered in mud. Needs a good underbody cover, body. What do you call it? Clean. You know, a hole here and there. It's got a cool sunroof. Bit of trim sticking out. Oh, there you go. I fixed something already. Um. Yeah, really dusty and dirty looking. Um. It's got a mispainted panel on the back end here and it's like some Bondo or whatever <laughs> so we'll send that back and repaint it um, tow hitch that side of the car is quite nice I don't know if you can see it but there's a really nice metallic flake in the blue it's quite pretty once, once it cleaned obviously um, so yeah, that's the outside of the car. Oh, I forgot to mention on the back end of the car, um, the issue, the only issues with the car that the, the guy said was issues with the car was um, some bushes in the rear end. Also, the diff is making a little bit of noise. Apparently, it's got a a lock diff, and um, when you turn really tightly, it clicks and carries on a little bit. He reckons an oil change will fix it, but I mean, worst comes to worst, we need a new diff. So we'll all change it, and if that doesn't fix the problem, we'll put a new diff in it, or a good second-hand diff, sorry. Um, which isn't extremely hard to do or, ch or expensive, so we'll see. Um, yeah, the interior. Oh, like it needs a good detail. Get a boot popper there. It's pretty clean, though, honestly. What it is, it's a bit dusty. What I like is the the gear knobby things here on the, the dash, as well as the handbrake. Feels like you got a fight you're in a fighter jet. <laughs> um the air conditioning may need regassing or something, it's not currently working. It's got a nice little head unit. All this, all this interior though is going to polish up nicely. So this, this black sort of thing, and I can get that looking really shiny and pretty. Um, it's a cool little set of console here. Apparently that can fold away. I haven't worked out how that does. Oh, there you go. 
There you go, that folds up. <laughs> um, it brings back out, some other little side table there. Um, what else is there inside? The back. It's, it's, it's not that dirty, honestly. About half an hour to an hour of detailing and cleaning. Just There's a bit of dog smell, a bit of baby smell in the car. So some shampoo will fix that. Um, oh yeah, the sunroof. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't think it opens though. I can't see any controls for it. So, it's interesting. Um, yep. Anyways, we'll uh, have a quick look under the hood too. That's another thing that is uh, may or may not be a potential issue. So, there apparently was an oil leak. You can see a bit of oil there. The guy reckons he's fixed it. Um, so, we'll have to give the engine a good degrease and um, just see if it's still leaking or not. But hopefully it's sorted out. I think the dipstick on this is pretty cool too. Like this little, you know, thing there. The uh, other dipstick's almost impossible to find. It's right down in there. Hard to get it. Um, underneath, <sighs> I don't know how you can see it, but there's oil all over the cross member, cross members. Um, yeah, all under the under the carriage of the, the the engine. So, um, but it's been parked here all night, and there's no oil on the ground. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, yeah, guys well, seem pretty honest with this, so um, let's check the, the what coolant level because it was, yeah, it's still good. Alright, so um, what I'm going to try and do today, um, finish painting the beetle. That back corner to do that we welded up. And yeah, I'll, I'll get onto that once I do the top. Once I've got all the undercarriage done, I'll start working on those rust holes. There's another one there. We'll get the the, the top half of the car painted too. This is my job for the week to get the, to get the beetle painted. Um, but we'll get we'll finish doing this inner guard first. In that that corner section, clean that up and. Repaint it all, and so that the undercarriage is completely done. Then, and we can actually work on the. Uh, we'll, we'll do this part next, and then we'll do the top. So I still don't have paint for the top yet. Although I'm hoping the uh, the rally art hopefully will be gone on Sunday. Uh, met a mate on online who also has another YouTube channel. Um, Sunday, he does rally. He's got a rally channel. Um, anyways, um, hopefully he's coming on Sunday or his mate's coming on Sunday to get the car and we'll, um, and it'll be going to another channel where we can watch it being, uh, thrashed, basically. <laughs> um, anyways, oh, one last thing with the, uh, I forgot about this on the, uh, on the Honda. Apparently... In the back of these things, and I think it's freaking awesome. They have a full size picnic table. Check out that legs and everything. It's a wheel, the wheel cover for the back of the, the back of the boot. So that's um. It's pretty cool. I'll have to clean that out and give it a repaint because it's starting to get rusty. But yeah, full size uh, picnic table there. No, it is small things amuse small minds. I'm a huge fan of camping and picnics and fishing and all that stuff too. So fun, fun. Anywho, to be continued.